Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to run a frequency response plot on a low pass filter, first order low pass filter on the HP 35660A dynamic signal analyzer over here. So we're going to go run that real soon. So this is the op amp circuit that we're going to test and it's just a inverting op amp with a point micro, point 0.1 microfarad capacitor and 100 kilo ohm resistor on it that gives you um, a low pass filter that we're going to test. So we're going to run random white noise through it and uh, try to get a frequency response plot. So next I like to power up the dynamic signal analyzer to show you its power up sequence. So it's coming up Powering up now, a little bit of glare on the screen. You could see the connections here. This is the source, this is channel one, and this is channel two. So the source, which in which random white noise is gonna come out through, is also connected directly to channel one. So that's the input to the op amp. The output of the op amp is connected to channel two. So we're gonna get a plot of channel two over channel one to get a frequency response. We're gonna to try to get the gain and the phase and compare that uh, to some expected results. So I wanted to show you the power-up sequence of this uh, HP 35660A dynamic signal analyzer uh, just to show you how fast it comes up and usually when it comes up it says calibration in progress and it, it goes into free run. So I'm going to show you uh, how to set up uh, the frequency response So this analyzer is a little bit intuitive. So let's see, so I'm gonna hit the buttons uh, for the display. Uh, so the thing we wanna get is we wanna uh, get uh, channel one and channel two active. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, so under measurement, measurement type, I wanna hit two channel. So rather than be 102.4 kilohertz, it's gonna sample at 51.2 kilohertz to get the two channels because it's a source with two spectrum analyzers. So this is a, a FFT type machine. So I want to set that up and then uh, trace type. So log magnitude is what I want for the uh, first plot there. I'm going to try to get two plots so I could get the, the magnitude and the phase in the lower plot. So, uh, so I want frequency response. I want to push a frequency response and um, let's see, so active trace, uh, that's not giving me what I want here, uh, window. Okay, so uh, that I'm just gonna keep that to, uh, it's uh, default uh, parameters, but format, okay, so I want upper and lower. So I have uh, an upper and lower trace. So the active trace right now is the lower one. You can tell because this is in reverse video. So you can hit this active trace to swap it. Now that's reverse video. Now that's reverse video. So I want this to be frequency response phase. So I'm gonna go back to uh, trace type and I'm gonna push uh, phase here. So we have phase. So that is now showing phase, which is good. So I wanna run a frequency response from point one hertz to 100 hertz, I want to generate a plot. So I'm going to hit my start frequency. I, I push the frequency button here, and I want my start to be 0.1 hertz. So that's our start frequency. So for some reason, with this analyzer, it comes to 101.5625 millihertz. Not not exactly what I like to see. I'd like to see 0.1, but uh, this is the way this analyzer works. Uh, so I want to go from 0.1 to approximately 100 hertz. So I'm going to hit span. So I'm going to type uh, 100 here, 100 hertz. Um, okay, so that's um, to one, 100 hertz there. Now I want um, our second trace. I want to get the same thing right now. That's in a time scale right now. So, uh, so I'm going to hit trace type 
phase uh, uh, measurement data. I want frequency response. So now I have frequency response, but I, it switched. I want it, uh, it switched to log magnitude. I want phase on that. So hit phase. Okay. So now I'm going to set our source. So I want our source to be random noise. I'm going to turn it on. And I want the level to be uh, 1 volt RMS. Okay. So I'm going to turn on some averaging. So I'm going to turn averaging on, and the number of averages by default is 10. So I'm going to hit start here, and hopefully um, it will start this uh, frequency response and average it over 10, uh, 10 times. So it says real-time averaging in progress. So it did the first average. Uh, you can see the RMS there, the second average, the third average. The fourth average, it's up to the fifth one, six, seven, eight. So it's running the random white noise through the low pass filter, which should have a 90 degrees phase shift. And um, Okay, so uh, so finished, it finished. Okay, so that's our frequency response plot right there. So uh, it's running random white noise out of the source, and channel two is the output of the op amp, the inverting op amp. So notice how the phase starts at 180 because it's an inverting op amp. If it was a non-inverting, it would start at zero degrees. Uh, so this is uh, represented uh, plus 180 to minus 180, and um, so uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good plot there. So we'll go with that. So I have the dynamic signal analyzer connected to an HP 7090A uh, plotter. And I'm going to do a plot of the screen to record the data. So this plotter, uh, the Geneva wheel broke a while back. So I'm going to power on the plotter right now. There it goes. So the default address for this plotter is uh, address 5. And it's connected using the GPIB interface. And I believe that's the default that HP like to use. So anyway, the Geneva wheel here broke a while back. So, But it still, it still seems to work. It's uh, much slower with that Geneva wheel not with it not being able to select the right pens. So notice that the marker is set to about a hundred hertz. So at a hundred hertz I'm getting minus 16.081 dB. And uh, at hundred hertz I'm getting a hundred and eleven point two five degrees. So I, th I believe that's correct for this uh, type of filter. So anyway, to uh, plot it, I think what I have to do is, uh, one thing I have to do uh, is, uh, let's see, uh, the one thing I have to do is take a look at the system controller here, uh, analyzer address, peripheral address, okay, uh, you can see the address is on 5, hit return, uh, so I think I got to hit this utilities. Okay, so I just want the status here on. So the status is on. And I'm going to hit return. So I'm going to hit this plot key here. And uh, I'm going to hit plot screen here. And see if the plotter starts uh, running or not. Uh, it says controller did not pass control. I think I have to turn the plotter off and on one time. Uh, so I'll go do that next. Okay, so it is plotting now. I guess the trick is to get this talk to light up the TLK. So I'm going to show you the plotter in a second. Anyway, this is the plotter. So it does have issues being that Geneva wheel is broken, but it is uh, does eventually make the plot. So little by little, it's uh, 
drawing out the plot. It is trying to grab uh, another pen, but it can't because that Geneva wheel is broken, so it has to go with its default pen. But so little by little, we'll let it run and uh, we'll get the plot out. So while that is plotting out, I wanted to show you the power supply. So this is a, a plus or minus 15 volt power supply that I'm using the power of the op amp. So it's an HP 6205C dual DC power supply. It has a 0 to 40 volt range and uh, uh, it has a uh, 0.3 amp range if you go up to 40 volts, uh, a 0.6 amp range if you go up to 20 volts. I'm feeding it with plus or minus 15, so I have the plus voltage set to plus 15 and the minus voltage set to minus 15. So the plotter finished the frequency response, so we'll go take a look at that, and uh, not sure if you could see that or not well in the camera, but you could see the gain over here from approximately 0 0.1 to 100 hertz, and the phase from 0.1 to 100 hertz. Uh, so this is uh, the form of this filter is 1 over... 0.01s plus 1 would be the form of this first order low pass filter and uh, that seems to match very well so it did make a, a nice plot there of the frequency response so I'm going to try to see if I could get a little bit better angle there that you could see that so it does uh, match the expected results so thanks for watching this and this is uh, on the HP 35660A dynamic signal analyzer